Well, yes, we uh, would love to announce that uh, next year's production is going to be Mamma Mia. Okay. But there's a little twist to it because it's, as you say, it's going to be bigger and better in that both the Huntsville Festival of the Arts Rotary uh, and the, Hunts, the um, Bracebridge Rotary Club have joined forces. Both groups were really keen about doing Mamma Mia, so we decided the best thing to do was to have one big production of Mamma Mia for the Muskoka area. Wow, okay, yeah. so yeah. you know, uh, it is, th that's really great because we do have, uh, we have like the Huntsville Festival of the Arts and Rotary Huntsville for production, and then of course Bracebridge has their production that they do every year. Yeah. Uh, kind of ties closely in time with each other as well. Talk about what is this gonna do for um, the community? How is it gonna benefit the community that we have these two community groups joining forces to put on this one production? Because we have such great resources in both of the two uh, groups uh, through production teams and uh, also uh, an, a, a, cr a great slate of uh, cast of uh, actors and actresses within the Muskoka area. We have so much to draw from. It'll mean um, one, one stage setting uh, and everything can be used uh, in the two different locations. There will be a, a clean, complete set of um, the regular two weeks in February of shows and then in March the, the shows will, uh, that's again the two weeks of shows. So. Um, there, there will be a, a, a good commitment from the cast to have a, a longer run, and we just have so many more people to draw from. So it's a, it's, it's a win-win. It, it totally is too, because I mean, you have, and because they're only, I mean, they're a month apart, like the two different production mm -hmm. days. And mm -hmm. I know we were talking a little bit about this off air, but um, you were saying, especially drawing from after actors. Sometimes our wonderful actors, I mean, we're all community theater group mm -hmm. here, um, have other commitments, or they can only really commit to one play. But this time, they can commit to one play just in two okay. communities exactly right? exactly yeah wow yeah. so in the same with with orchestra too they they not two different productions to do we have one orchestra that'll be prepared to play for the for the uh, one show so it's so, good. so let's talk about um logistics now um i know it's not till february and mm -hmm. march but you're mm -hmm. already getting the ball rolling what are we looking for right now Right now, we are going to put the call out for a director. That's the first uh, important person that we need. We mm -hmm. need somebody that's enthusiastic, that loves Mamma Mia, that wants to be involved uh, as, as our director. So uh, we, are, uh, we will, uh, those things are going out for a director already. Um, and once we have the director in place, um, everything will follow as per usual, auditions in October and rehearsing mid-November and on all the from way there, through. all the yeah. way through. So, but, but no, the, the director is our important person to get and then uh, we will go from there. So if anybody, uh, if anybody is watching right now and, and they have a directorial background or they want to take a gander at this, how do, like, how do they contact? Do they go through the HFA website or how do they do that? Uh, there has actually been an executive committee formed. Mm -hmm. It's called Muskoka on Stage. Mm -hmm. And there are three representatives uh, from uh, Huntsville and three from Bracebridge and a seventh person, Neil Barlow, our great uh, orchestral conductor. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is sort of the, the, the team that's come together to uh, get things going. Uh, and so we have a, a Gmail address, which is muskoka.onstage at gmail.com. Okay. So any information and any questions can go to that address and they can get answered or if you have a, if you have a, want to be a director then send the information there too.